This is the L sound. Keep watching to find out how it's pronounced in British English. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed, and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. Before we start, remember to like this video if you find it useful, and subscribe for more British English pronunciation lessons in the future. Now, let's look at the L sound in a bit more detail. Do you remember the D sound which we looked at in a previous video? The L sound is produced in a similar way. So first produce the D sound. Now, do it again, but this time lower the sides of your tongue so that air can pass through. L, L. Well done, you just produced the L sound. This sound is produced by placing the tip of the tongue against the alveolar ridge while lowering the sides of the tongue and producing a voice sound. This gives the sound its technical name, the voiced alveolar lateral approximant. Obviously, in real conversation, we don't produce the D sound first, but you can use this trick to find the correct mouth position. So try and remember the mouth position and produce the sound again. L, L. Now, look at these words. Can you identify the L sound? Listen and see if you can hear it. Like could, very, well, film, sorry, walk, allow. The L sound is always spelt with a single or double letter L, but be careful because there are some words that contain the letter L but not the L sound. The letter L is often silent in modal verbs and when it appears before the letters M, K and F. For example, should, palm, talk, half. Let's look at some of the previous examples again. Do you notice a difference in pronunciation of the L sound in the words well and film? compared to like and allow. When the L sound appears at the end of a word or before a consonant sound, it's velarized. This means the back of the tongue rises, producing a slightly different sound. This is commonly known as the dark L. When the L sound appears before a vowel sound, it's not velarized. This is commonly known as the light L. The L sound may be confused with the R sound by speakers of some languages, especially in minimal pairs such as light, right, long, wrong, glass, grass, alive, arrive, collect. Correct. Remember to touch the ridge of the mouth with the tip of the tongue when you produce the L sound to avoid confusing it with the R sound in these minimal pairs. Now let's practice. Listen and repeat after me. 12 salmon fillets. The little girl talks loudly. I couldn't solve the problem. A large glass of almond milk. Half the class travel to school. A dark L sound may turn into a light L sound in connected speech if the next word starts with a vowel sound. For example, Q 
cool, cooler doctor, email, email address, table, table and chairs. Well, that's the end of the lesson, but can you use the L sound in a sentence? Leave me some examples in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.